after India raised the pitch against Canada by suspending visas for Canadians. Canada Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has doubled down the allegations against India over K-terrorist Hardeep Nijar's killing. Trudeau said there's credible reason to believe agencies of Government of India were involved in the killing of Nijar. Also adding that allegations have been leveled against India with utmost seriousness and that Canada expects India to cooperate. Remember, this comes after New Delhi debunked the Trudeau government on Nijar's killing. In light of the recent tensions in the India-Canada relationship, the Ministry of External Affairs has accused Canada of becoming a safe haven for terrorists and extremists. The breakdown in India-Canada ties is now clearly visible. There are credible reasons to believe that agents of the government of India were involved in the killing of a Canadian on Canadian soil. That is something of the utmost and foundational importance in a country of rule of law, in a world where international rules-based order matters. We call upon the government of India to take seriously this matter and to work with us to shed full transparency and ensure accountability and justice in this matter. We are a country of the rule of law. We are going to continue to do the work necessary to keep Canadians safe and to uphold our values and the international rules-based order. That's our focus right now. And we're not looking to provoke uh, or, or um, cause problems. But we are unequivocal around the importance of the rule of law and unequivocal about the importance of protecting Canadians and standing up for our values. All right, and that's how things have moved as far as growth of pro Khalistan sentiments in Canada is concerned. India, of course, has in the strongest terms possible said that the sort of uh, leveling of allegations is something that they are not going to, in fact, tolerate. Joining us right now is Vyat Claypool, senior correspondent uh, from, uh, in fact, joining us from Alberta right now. I hope I'm really pronouncing your name right. Uh, thank you for your time, though. You know, I want to ask you about the kind of sentiments that we see amongst uh, those, in fact, who are from India now living in Canada. Talk to us a little about how Indians living there are feeling about this worsening of relationship between the two countries, given the strong ties that we've shared over the years. Well, what I think has happened is that in Canada, we've seen a lot of people who are in India who are Hindus who start to feel like second-class citizens over time just because of the way that the Indian government tends to treat uh, Sikhs and Muslims as being sort of higher priority uh, diaspora, and that I think this current scandal with Justin Trudeau has really highlighted that really certain communities seem to be able to just do no wrong in his eyes. So he's very soft on Khalistani extremism, whereas Hindu Canadians tend to get ignored and also belittled when it comes to their concerns right. about extremism and uh, very violent rhetoric, rhetoric towards their homeland and their home government. All right, I'm going to thank you for joining us with your views on that. That again is a story we're keeping a very, very close eye on. I'm thanking Vikram also for joining us from Ottawa with his views and his perspective on that big developing story.